Okay, so let's get started on the pants, shall we? Uh, these are just a pair of $13 pants I grabbed from Wally World, or other words, Walmart. And I just took a wet rag, blended in with some water, and got some black acrylic paint on there. Smeared all over the rag, and just went to town on the pants. I went completely crazy with it, I didn't care where the specific spots were, I just started smacking it everywhere in the pants. I put more of the black around where the feet were, because that is where he's going to be walking. That's where most of the dirt and all the crap that he's stepping in is going to be at, let alone the rest of the pants. Now, I took some riveted uh, scissors. I don't know the exact terminology for this, but they're just a pair of scissors that has some good teeth in them. And I'm gonna cut the bottom of these pants so they look like they're torn in a very random fashion just I just cut right across cut the edge off and then I cut inwards just to kind of cut some of the fabric and make it look like it was hanging around uh, where the feet are it's just loose it's just dangling there a lot of this stuff is just random you can do the damage however you want just go absolutely crazy with it I got myself. Now this is a green, an olive green work shirt that I found at a Goodwill for only five bucks. Yes, five dollars. That's a steal for a green work shirt. And I looked everywhere else. I looked at Ross, I looked at Macy's, I looked at a random part in Walmart again. I could not find another green shirt. Thank you Goodwill for that. Now I did the same technique on the shirt as I did with the pants. I took a wet rag with some black acrylic paint smashed into it and just dabbed mostly around where the chest area is because there wasn't a lot of black on the work shirt as opposed to the pants. So I just focused on the chest and a little bit on the back and then a little bit on the arms and the cuffs. The latex mask I used was actually from a guy on Amazon and also eBay known as Rubber Johnny's. He sells a bunch of cool latex masks that he hand makes and sells them out on Amazon or eBay. You can find them on both sites. He has two different versions. One is the Modern Jason, which is a black and zombified version, but the one that I went with was a skin tone Jason, and it was only 25 bucks. All I did was took some black acrylic paint and made the skin tone black. Now as far as shoes go, I just had an old pair of van sneakers laying around. Uh, I didn't find any boots, I couldn't find any in stores. Yes, I know he doesn't wear, you know, sneakers or short top shoes or whatever you want to call them. He doesn't wear flip flops, obviously. He wears boots, but I couldn't find a pair of boots that were on a budget, so I just stuck with these black sneakers. Now for underneath the olive green work shirt, I went out and got a plain dark gray t-shirt. It was only like three bucks. I'm going to use that instead of the white. And this is what the outfit looks like from the top up. The latex mask was very comfortable to wear. It was a pain in the ass for the first time. Get it over my crazy ass hair. With a little bit of some lubrication, I got my head inside the latex mask. Now you can see here that the pants actually go over the sneakers so they look like they're either boots or high top shoes. Overall this costume was a lot comfortable to wear because I didn't want to wear too much clothing on top of it because it would be super hot, uncomfortable, there would be no movement in it. So I wanted something flexible to wear but also kind of key to the classic look of the olive green work shirt and the tan pants from some of the older films while keeping the new school zombified Jason. Like I said, all of this, I wanted to try to do my own take on the character, try to make a custom version of him other than just replicating ones from films. That was my idea. I wanted to try a custom version of Jason with inspiration from other pieces of the films and other artists have created their outfits, so I kind of pieced together my own representation of the character. To blacken out the hands, I just had a pair of mechanics gloves I randomly had in the garage. And then to blacken out the eyes, I was going to do a morph suit mask, just a mask by itself, but I had the exact same fabric laying around, and I'm going to use that to wrap around my head. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering, what kind of weapon did I use? I actually found a machete that was like five bucks at Harbor Freight. I wanted to give Jason a, a, a much more aggressive machete. This is my own kind of custom look for the character, so I went with this machete with some serrated blade edges on it. It looks 
really nasty. This thing could look like a chop a head off in one swing. And then all I did was added a some brown leather strapping on the grip. And then I dabbed a bunch of black and bronze mixed in with some ugly green color on the blade itself to give it a lot more worn out look, like it's been used quite a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the second part of the costume build. You will see the full costume in a sketch video that we are going to be working on. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you goons. Later.